Hey, orange one here. So we're gonna be taking care of these poachers. Uh, honestly, it's actually been a little bit of a while since I was playing. I didn't actually play yesterday. And so I'm trying to figure, remember what exactly we were doing. Um, but from what I remember, this quest with the poachers, they're all archers, which makes sense. Uh, so we just gotta essentially close the distance between us and them. As it sucks that they're on top of this hill. This is gonna be a little bit tricky for us. But we'll distract them as much as we can. Cover for my guys a little bit. Yeah, I'll just get on top of the hill up here. But keep on moving. Because as you just saw there, there was a couple arrows coming my way. Yeah, we wanna... Okay, I think that we can start engaging. Yep, okay. My horse is getting hit, though. So I do wanna be kinda careful. There we go, there's one of the poachers down. I think we can start picking them off, like, with the arrows. There we go. Okay. Nice. So I actually really took I wanted to try something. No, hold on, how do you do this? So, someone was telling me that you can kind of drift in this game. Yeah, that, there we go. It kind of, kind of worked. Sorry if that was kind of dark, I just remembered that during night it's super dark. Um, we'll take all the poachers, if it gives me the leather, yep, I'll take that. I'll take all of it, thank you. That was kind of weird, it like, gave me that menu again there. Okay. I don't think we lost as many units that time, did we? No, I don't, I don't think we did. Because we... Spearman, Hunter, I feel like I'm going to want some archer, like horse archers, so we'll go with that. Um, also, I don't I don't understand why we get notified here down here sometimes and not other times. There was something, yeah, athletics. I need to level that up. We're going to go arrows because this character is specialized for arrows. And then we do also have a free focus point. Um, I was looking at this beforehand, that's why I'm making this decision so quickly. I want bigger parties. That's gonna be something that we'll build towards- oh, whoa. What? I just pressed like V and that popped up. That was kind of weird. I was not expecting to see all of that, <laughs> Rodan. <laughs> um, what were we doing again? So let's see. Journal. There's, well, there's nothing, so what about trade-wise? What was I transporting? Got quite a bit of leather. I've got a lot of fish here. Um, maybe we could go inland, away from there. Maybe if we go to, like, Pycathion or something. Oh, wait, no, hold on. We wanted to f uh, play the games, like, this, like the Sturgeon games or something like that. So maybe we should go up to Tile. I wanted to check out that game. I know it's kind of like a ridiculous goal, but I want to I want to play like all the games that they have in this in this game. Um, I think this is gonna be not really what we where we want to do the trading, probably. Eh. I mean, it's more expensive than the average here, so maybe. We'll go with that. We'll just unload a couple of them. And then... I'll get rid of that too. Looks good to me. Um, I know we said we were going to keep on moving, but let's just kind of check things out really quick. What's pretty well priced. Um, sure, we'll buy some butter. Um... How good of a deal is that? That's a pretty good deal on that cheese. Um, anything else? Hardwood? Sure. We'll, we'll buy that. I mean, it's not the best price that we've seen for hardwood. Um, but it'll do. And that is actually a pretty good price, too. Was it this one that we were looking at? Yeah. 
I just kind of want to diversify what we have, to be honest. Let's get a little bit of everything, probably. Um, sure, we'll get some silver ore as well. Yeah. Oh, oh, hi, hold on. We don't have enough money. Good. Drop off that silver ore. That looks good, right? We'll we'll just take all that and we'll trade that wherever we end up finding ourselves. Whatever we can trade for a profit. We might end up selling like our desert horses up here though, for a little bit of that cash. But yeah, I just basically want to go here um, to see what the Sturgeon <laughs> board game looks like, <laughs> and it, you know to check out the Sturgeons as well. The the Russians up here, kind of see what they've got going on here. There's step bandits up here. That's kind of weird. Go to ransom all the prisoners. Um, I should have done that a while ago. We'll just do a little bit of trade real quick, and then we'll go in and see what else they've got here. Oh, the grain is super cheap here. Um, anything in the red there? No, nothing is in the red. Okay, well, we'll hold on to our stuff for then, or for now. Um, I'll buy as much grain, essentially, as the game lets me. Because that's a crazy good price for grain. Um, you know what? Let's let's go in here and we'll check this out. There's the shield maiden, the companion that I don't really want. Wow, this place is poorly lit. I mean, I suppose it's kind of cool how they made the taverns actually look like how the buildings look like during these time periods, and they're like totally dark and everything. Yeah, so what is this game? Sacrifice. Okay. Sure, let's, let's, uh, let's play a game. I'll be white. I'm not gonna play for cash on this first one. Wow, okay. It's just like alternating. Interesting. Definitely intrigued. Uh, let's see. So the rules. Okay, so you remove a couple. So you capture them by jumping over them. Okay, so it's like checkers. Okay, so it's basically checkers. So yeah, let's take out one of our pieces here. And so I need to, like, um, I'm white, so I need to, like, jump over that one. Is that how it works? Then they jump over that one. Okay, I think I kind of get it. It's pretty simple. It, it's, uh, core, but then you gotta, like, get little combos lined up, right? Like this. Like, can I jump here and then there? That work? Or is it... Oh, you can only do one. Oh wait, oh no, you can do two in a row, but they have to be like a straight line. Oh man. Okay, well. There we go. I'm learning. Oh man, not good. Uh, uh, I take from that one. Yeah, I think that's a good move. Oh, this is annoying. Like, super annoying, actually. I had a feeling you are going to do that, and then you're going to jump over there, huh? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do from here. I think I can, I can definitely jump here, but then you're just going to jump over my guy there. And it's like... Which one do I want to lose, right? We'll do that. And there's just not really... There wasn't really much I could do about that. That does look like a game, though, that I could win. That I would be willing to think about more and spend some time actually on to try and figure out how to, to cheese and... Or not cheese, but to actually win that. Um, escort merchant caravan. Sure. You know what? We need to trade some goods. Um, anyways, so I'll escort your caravan. You know, I think I want to get a workshop. I've heard that they're just insanely profitable, so I think we'll probably work on that in this episode. 
They'll just follow around this caravan and go wherever they go. We'll see wherever that is. Kind of going along with them. Yeah, there, there's gonna be bandits on the road here. So I'm just gonna, yeah, it's hopefully, hopefully we don't just get like wrecked like we did last time. I think we've got some pretty decent units now. Um, I might try and attack these looters just to get a little bit of experience for them though. Yeah, let's just send our troops in. And yeah, easy, right? Oh man, look at all those troops. Um, I will definitely take the better units there. Um, actually, I think I'll take all of them. Yeah, I'll hire all of you. I don't know if I want the looter prisoners. They're so useless. I'll take the horses and the olives. You know, I'm going to take the other stuff too. I mean, we have the weight. I might as well. Yeah, catch up to the caravan, please. I know that you're losing sight of it, but you'll you'll catch it. Not that fast. No, I'm not about to lose sight. It's weird that you tell me that now and not earlier when I actually did lose sight of it. But it's, it's fine. So yeah, what do you guys think Rodan should be doing? I'm trying to think like Rodan is, he's still kind of on his quest to become, have like a profitable business. I mean, he he's turning a profit now. It's kind of like made, like brought his father's business back to out of uh, the shame. And I was thinking about going back and living with like essentially the, the Bedouin people. Cause if you look in the encyclopedia, I was kind of checking this out in between episodes. This sorry, they've got this like little minor faction called the Jawal. They're like the desert um, bandits, which is like totally a thing in the real world. If you didn't know that, there's like desert like bandits out there, and they're like still out there, man. They're still living out there, like raiding and as much as they can and fighting against like the state. It's actually pretty intense. Okay, yep. There we go. One of them. Actually, can I? I should have probably traded before he traded. He probably just affected the prices quite a bit. Just to get rid of all of this junk. Um, the grain is a very good price here. See, like that alone, if we sell that, we're probably going to make a good amount of money. Oh, hold on. Should I just get rid of the butter? Let's, uh, let's keep some of the grain for now. Anything else in the red now? No, nothing's in the red. Okay, well we made a little bit of cash. And we didn't take the prisoners. Yeah, let's just keep on going with this caravan. See what they got for us down the road. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna get attacked. Um, it's just a matter of, uh, are we gonna, I think now that we've got a bigger party because we got into the next clan level, we should be okay. Tribal warrior. Let's go with the tribal warrior. I think they're the cavalry. And if I can just like maintain a small force of cavalry, it's gonna really help us out like a whole lot in the long term. How how about hold on just really quick? Our companion there. Yeah, they don't have any points to spend. I just wanted to check. I suspected that they didn't, but you never know. I think I'm going to try and get ourselves um, some land. Uh, I don't know if I want to be a part of the Sari Nation or just be like this crazy eccentric billionaire who like tries to take land for himself. Um, I don't think that I don't know if that's even actually in the game or not. Oh, hey, Blag is gaining skills over there. This, you know, I I thought. That he wasn't gaining skills in trade, but I, maybe he is. I just want to check. It, he's not getting anything in trade. I guess he's getting scouting, but I really don't care about that. <laughs> if he's a merchant, he should get experience with trade, right? Okay, well, we didn't get much there. Um, 
we'll just dive uh, ahead and hopefully maybe maybe I'll I'll get some recruits just to help out with this eventual fight that we're gonna find ourselves in because I know the game's gonna do it now um, someone said that I, th I don't know if they said it that they knew it was the fact or not, but they thought the game kind of bugged out the group so that the caravan got attacked. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't think that's actually true. I don't think the game does that. But I could be wrong. Where are you going, dude? For real. Okay. Guess we're going all the way over here. Man, there's a ton of looters out here. I do think I'm gonna start raiding Empire uh, caravans. I think, you know, it's gonna make our lives a lot more painful, but it might might be something we want to do. No, we, we we need the businesses up and running more. I'm I don't know what I'm saying. We need to be making like serious cash, like uh, being able to roll up into the taverns and just buy mercenaries pretty much every day, or multiple ones that every day. <laughs> Kinda rich. Like, I want to be making, like, a thousand plus a day. And that's once I have, like, a full party. Where are you going? This is an interesting little bridge you're taking here. Around that little lake. Seriously, though, where are you going? Some weird pathfinding going on. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to explore more of the family and clan dynamics and how that all works. Hold on, didn't we just complete the quest? Oh, they need to go to the third one. Okay, hold on, just give me a minute, guys. I need to do some trading. Okay, the fish is worth a good amount here. Yeah, we'll we'll get rid of most of our fish. Um the butter, I'm pretty sure we bought for much higher than that, or much lower than that, so we'll sell that as well. And I can't really remember about these. The hides, I'm pretty sure we bought like 60, but I can't remember. And this one, I'm pretty sure also we bought for much cheaper. Um, Looking fine to me. Let's just keep on going with the caravan, yeah. Yeah, I wish that they... This is an annoying quest when you're faster, like, so much faster than them. You just, like, run laps around them, you know? It's like constant battle with video games. It's like, whenever you're told to follow someone, you're either... You know, if your speeds aren't the exact same, even if they are the exact same, it's gonna be kind of annoying. <gasps> sea Raiders! Oh man, I kind of want to attack them. I actually really do want to attack them. If I look at my party, am I... Yeah, I'm totally gonna attack these Sea Raiders. I, I want to see what weapons they got. Hopefully that doesn't mean the caravan that we're supposed to be guarding dies. I honestly, I just want to attack them. I have heard that they're not as crazy overpowered as the... um. The ones in War Bandits, more about the Forest Bandits being like snipers. Um, we'll just kind of let let our troops do their thing. I think. Well, I'm I'm just gonna assess from a distance at first before I charge in myself. Okay, they got some throwing spears that they're they're lugging at my guys. Everyone, kill them all! just like, char oh man, there was a number of javelins there that took out people. That was bad. Man, they actually really chewed through my units there. So much for them not being so bad. They really did a number, considering that there was they're outnumbered like four to one. There we go. Yeah, Sea Raiders, I'm, I'm interested. Oh, we got extra damage from perks. <laughs> That's kind of cool how you see that. I like how it gives you the damage breakdown with the physics, like the numbers and all that stuff. That's pretty cool. 
I'm gonna take them in the off chance that I can recruit them. And look at that, we got like some actual proper weapons. Like decent one too. Um the harpoon would be tempting if I was specialized for that, but I'm not. Oh look at that. Some proper boots. Nice. Yeah, th these guys are one of the better ways to get good armor in the game. Um, I am moving kind of slow right now. Like, concerningly slow. How are you, how are you, what's your speed right now? Okay, yeah, we're fine. I'm way faster than them. Though, like we've been doing so far, we can just kind of follow along. And I think that this this must be where you're going, right? No? Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm going to do some trading here. Like that hardwood. Definitely worth it. Uh, the other things, not so much. How's your grain? Grain is reasonably priced. I'll take... I'll take... A good amount of grain. Uh, let's go a little bit faster. Sure, we'll, we'll take you down to ten, just because I I'm familiar with it. Oh, hold on. Um, party. I'm not able to try and recruit them, am I? I might be able to get them. I'm gonna keep them in my party. Sea raiders could give. Fetch a little bit of profit, but I'm actually just kind of curious to see how good they are as units. Seriously, Caravan, why do you do this? Why do you guys do this in this game? Where you do this quest where you just like go all the way around the map to try and trade? Okay, you better be going here. I'm gonna try and beat you and see if I can sell goods there first. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Look at that. I think I bought this cotton for that 33, I'm pretty sure. Uh, definitely gonna sell all that grain and make a good amount of cash from that as well. Okay, so we're a good chunk of the way. I'm just gonna let this caravan go here and hey, that's complete. Oh, look at that. We got a ton of cash from escorting them. I think we might have enough to buy a workshop. Um, go around here and we're just gonna see if there's a blank workshop and if there is we're gonna ask them if we can buy um, buy it. Okay, Para, let's let's get in there. Uh, waterfront, blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm not sure how this works exactly. I've seen other people do it, like where they go up to like uh, like the brewery or the water. I think the waterfront is uh, one of the gang locations. I'm kind of confused. I've forgotten exactly how this works, but there's like little workshops and all, like the olive press and whatnot. If we go here into this brewery, can I then like talk to one of them? I would like to buy this workshop. Oh yeah, we've pretty much got that much money. And there, are they a brewery? Oh man, I want a brewery. Its textures are kind of weird, but I want it. Okay, let's make this happen. I think I need like 200, 300 more gold or something like that. Um, it was not very much. It was definitely something that we can, we can do. Especially if we trade some of these horses. Uh... Sure, we'll get rid of two of those horses. Um, we'll also get rid of some of the leather to give us a little uh, wiggle room there. Let's go back to the brewery. Um, and there's even a tavern. Perfect. We won't even have to deliver the goods very far away. <laughs> You know, I don't know. This might not be the best thing for us to purchase. Um, 
and I'm not actually familiar with how it works in game. Yeah, the textures are super bugged out on this place. Merchant notary, shop shop worker. Yep. Oh, we can choose to. If I I've heard the wood is the one that makes the most sense. Um. I would like to, yes. Yeah, I've heard that, that I feel like I'm being a little bit gamey by going for that, but um, <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what that ends up doing for us. Oh man, I should have left it as a brewery. Now I feel bad because as a person who actually brews in real life, I should have done that. Uh, I'm trying to, my min-maxer, is like fighting my role player. Uh, we're gonna need some food as well, by the looks of it. We're pretty much out of food. Um, what's cheap here? Fish? You know what? I'll, I'll buy a whole lot of fish. And then I'm gonna try selling that. I'm gonna actually take it a little bit lower. Yeah, I'm hoping that our caravans are going to be a little bit more profitable. Let's just go back to Robalt. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what our income is like after having that. Oh, Blag got more scouting experience. Congratulations. Um, try and sell that fish. I did the thing that I said never to do. I put all of our money in one product. And now look, its value is going to depreciate as we sell it. Eh. Still turned a, a little profit. A respectable profit. Um, anything else cheap here? Flax is crazy cheap. Okay, we're buying as much flax as the game will let me. Yeah, that's like an insane price on flax. Oh man, we're gonna make so much money off that. Okay. Um, so we got all that flax. I'm looking at the flax. Do I know where I can sell it for a lot? Uh, tile is pretty good, but tile's pretty far away, right? Yeah, tile's all the way over there. I bet. Um like ox hall or something like that is is a better deal oh look there's one of our caravans our party has gotten oh i bet and look we can we can recruit them hey we have a sea raider that's funny seeing one of my caravans oh there's a big group of looters over there yeah, I think we're gonna need to start moving on to the next part where we start attacking people soon. Um, we'll, we'll snowball a little bit more with the cash for a little while. Uh, yeah, this is not a great place to try and sell this. Yeah, we're trying to peddle these goods, but the game doesn't look like it wants to give that to us. Sure, let's go over here to Vlandian's uh, province. So before it became problem, it had a little D on it. I like how they've done that, how they've kept the names in there, but they've changed them slightly, how that like happens in like the real world, you know? Pretty cool. Hey, look at that. We like pretty much just, well, we didn't double our cash, but definitely went up a good amount. We'll have a look-see. I'm just kind of curious also about getting myself some better armor and gear. And we could try and hunt uh, sea raiders down and see about that. Also, I was wondering if I could get some better armor for when I'm being a civilian. You know, that might be a, a good goal for us. <laughs> well, that's worth more. It's not bear protection, but it is worth more. Um, I think we're Doing pretty good. Olives, uh, might be able to buy that. And grapes. And the grapes, uh, 
I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll buy... I'll buy a lot of those grapes. I, I'm gonna go pretty gra grape crazy. And... The oil's gonna change its price quite a bit, and same with that wine, but that's fine. I just sold all my flax here, right? I don't wanna... I feel like I just sold all my flax. But I, I don't know. I feel like I'm going crazy there because I, now I'm seeing like a price that looks good there and I'm pretty sure I just sold it all. Um, we do not have enough to get all that. Okay, never mind about that then. Get a little bit more cash back. Looks good to me. We'll just keep on moving. We're just not getting good deals on those tools right now, which is kind of making it hard for us. But, uh, I think that we're, yeah, we're making a good amount of profit now. I'm, I'm curious as to looking at that more closely. But we'll do that more next episode. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.